the U.S. President Donald Trump called to bring jobs back to America and a possible increase in tariffs on Chinese imports have sparked speculation that U.S. companies may be under pressure to leave China. So are American companies returning home? Well, the firms in China such as Intel, Microsoft and GE aren't saying anything much, but analysts do expect the Americans to stay uh, put. Uh, Laura Luo has more on that story. Some of America's biggest corporations are on edge as U.S. President Donald Trump brings out one protectionist measure after another. Trump first stepped up pressure in the auto industry to move jobs back to the U.S. market. Then there's talk about a border tax that could in effect become a 20% tariff on imports. People also started asking if U.S. firms are likely to leave the China market and move jobs back to the U.S. Are they really pulling back? I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think anyone is moving. It's all about two major issues when you produce. Labor costs and where are your clients, where are your customers. Yeah. This is the, one of the fastest growing markets. The consumer part of the market hasn't really even started yet. Mm -hmm. So once that really takes off and you don't have a platform in China, you're way behind. Yeah. You know, Trump really should be doing the opposite. He should yeah. be actually encouraging companies to come to China. A recent survey by the American Chamber of Commerce in China showed that about 25% of the firms questioned say they have either already moved or are planning to move capacity outside China. Most of the respondents say they are relocating to other parts of Asia or to North America. Analysts say those decisions are made based on business indicators, not Trump. You'll always have some companies wanting to move in at a certain stage of an economy. So Vietnam, this is a great opportunity for, let's say, shoemakers low-end textiles to be made in Vietnam. This is not a good chance now. If you're making shoes, you're not going to come to China. It just wouldn't make any sense. So naturally, you have low-end moving to mid-end, moving to higher-end. Companies will move in and out depending on their capabilities and their products. 72% of the AIMCHAM member companies think a positive bilateral relationship between the U.S. and China is critical to their business success in China. AIMCHAM chairman William Zarit said it's important for both countries to avoid protectionism. We're hoping is that the U.S. and China can come up with some agreeable terms that will help us avoid continued protectionism on the side of our Chinese friends that will avoid any protectionism on the side of the U.S. and that the commercial relationship will continue to be strong. There are concerns that if the U.S. companies were to leave the Chinese market, this could hit the local economy hard. But some argue that business decisions are never this simple. While everything's still up in the air, China might as well use this opportunity as a leverage to upgrade its manufacturing sector. I think it's a great opportunity for China to start to kick out some of the lower value assembly type companies. Now they have an excuse. Before it was very hard. So for example, iPhone. If they went to iPhone and said, for those $10 of added value that we get, we want you to start to move your production anywhere else. Because for $10, it's really not worth it. We're now at a tipping point of the country moving from purely an assembly country to now a more advanced manufacturing part of the country. And, and this is great for China. The AIMCHAM report also showed signs of such a positive transformation. Only about a third of the industrial and resources companies planned to add staff in 2017. That's while more than 60% of the technology and research and development intensive companies plan to increase their hiring in China. Lerlo, CGTN.